good morning students how are you all okay so today all of you had your breakfast yes so you are very energetic and i think all of you are ready for watching the class okay so every day we are eating different types of food okay for the breakfast dinner and the lunch why we are eating this food all of you know okay for getting energy so the food we eat in a day we are calling as a diet that is the food we eat in a day so we should have a diet in a day okay so diet is the food we eat in a day what is diet okay diet is the food we eat in a day we know that we need energy for various external and internal activities we also need other nutrients for the growth and maintenance of our body and this all we are getting from the food we eat so for a healthy body for a healthy body it is essential to get all the nutrients in right quantities okay so the food which is the food which contain all the essential nutrients that is which are the essential nutrients that is the carbohydrates fat protein vitamins minerals dietary fibers and fat so the food containing the essential nutrients in right quantity we can call as balanced diet all of you understood the food containing all the essential nutrients in right quantity we can call as balanced diet okay so our food should be balanced okay so we can call as balanced diet understood then and we know that basically from a single food it is not sufficient the single food is not sufficient to provide all the essential nutrients that we know okay from a single food it is we are not getting all the essential nutrients so we want to take a mixture of food each of which is rich in and sufficient for a particular nutrient understood we want to take a mixture of food each of which should be rich in and sufficient so we have to take a mixture of food item okay we we have to take a mixture of food item each of which is rich in and sufficient for a particular nutrient understood so the need of nutrient is different for different person the need of nutrient is different for different person so the balanced diet also different for different person understood the balanced diet is different for different person i'll say one example for this okay that is the balanced diet is different for different person you can take one construction worker and a lawyer these two people are doing different activities okay obviously we know that a construction worker do more physical work than a lawyer so what this construction worker need more energy than a lawyer so what's the difference in the balanced diet the balanced diet of construction worker need more energy giving substances which are the energy giving substances that they they are carbohydrate and fat okay so this is the difference in the balanced diet for different person not only with this okay with the age also the balanced diet will be different that is related with the age that is how with the age there will be so many changes in our body and in our activities even at the same age the balanced diet will be different even at the same age the balanced diet will be different okay so at the same age the balanced diet for a girl should be different from the balanced diet for a boy understood and balanced diet is also different from place to place and season to season okay so these all are related with this balanced diet these all are influencing the balanced diet okay so we understood that every day we should include the food uh, which are rich in the nutrients so this is not expensive it is not necessary to take the expensive food materials to get the balanced diet 
for example we can take the uh, sprouted seeds okay sprouted seeds then apple banana then guava leafy vegetables then fermented food like idli we know that these all are very less expensive and you know it is very good for our health this all we can include in the balanced diet okay we should also make sure that the food we are cooking correctly okay when we are uh, for example when the vegetables or fruits when the vegetables or fruits are washed after cutting this may lead to loss of nutrients when the vegetables or fruits are washed after cutting it may leads to the loss of nutrients okay and repeated washing the washing of this pulses and grains that also cause to the loss of nutrients repeated washing of the pulses and grain that also lead to the loss of nutrients without this if we are using excess of water during cooking if we are using excess of water during cooking that also lead to loss of nutrients okay so with all we should care in okay okay and next one is we know that we all are like junk food okay uh, pizza burger these all are the junk food so which nutrient in which you know yes junk food contains the fat it is a fat it contains fat the other nutrients it do not contain the other nutrients so when we are eating the junk food we are getting only one nutrient that is the fat and in unhygienic condition it contains the disease causing agents are there okay so we have uh, so, so we have so many uh, health problems that is digestive problems okay this goes to obesity also you know what is obesity obesity is the condition that when we are eating uh, fat rich food when we are eating fat rich food our body become fatty or bulky that we are calling as obesity so eating junk food leads to obesity okay so junk food junk food eating is not a good choice understood then improper nutrition improper nutrition leads to the malnutrition improper nutrition also leads to the malnutrition you know what is malnutrition malnutrition means if one nutrient is less or not available for a longer time that we are calling as under nutrition or under nourishment if one nutrient is not or less available for a longer time this condition we can call as under nutrition or under nourishment likewise too much nutrition like the, likewise too much nutrition leads to over nutrition or over nourishment okay both this are malnutrition that is under nutrition and over nutrition we can call as malnutrition and this malnutrition leads to so many healthy problems this leads to the improper development the improper development of our body parts and standard growth okay abnormal development of our body parts and standard growth if we have over nutrition if we have over nutrition that leads to abnormal development of our body parts and we have under nutrition that leads to the standard growth you know what is standard growth standard growth means the growth become stop okay so these all are about the balanced diet so we understood that the in our food the balanced diet should include okay so we understood that the balanced diet is not only an important but also it is very essential for our body okay